What's going on, everybody? This is Ian with the Getting Work Pod. Starting, continuing the, actually, the TNT week, Tax and Throwbacks week, playing some old school games on Getting Work this week. Played some Prince of Persia earlier. I'm now playing my favorite game, actually, from the early 90s, 90, 1992, actually. Star Control 2. It's my favorite game growing up by far. It's it's easy win. I love this game. I wish they had ever come. Um, they had actually come back out with the Star Control, a true Star Control 3. There is one. There is a Star Control 3 that came out, but it's totally different people. I wish there was a true follow-up to this game. If there ever is, I'm definitely going to be the first one on it streaming that for sure. But where I left off, I was heading towards to see the Sirene. So they are the, the hot ladies of the, of the game. So I'm going to go see them and let them know what happened to their home planet and hope, hopefully get them to join up with me and that type of thing. So here we go. Navigate. Just give you an idea of where I am right now. I just left the Micon space, so it's the purple circle that you see right there. I just left that heading out. I found the egg fragments. Basically, these these things the Micons shot into their home world and into the Sirene's home world and destroyed it. But they don't know that, so I gotta let them know. And then hopefully get them to join me. This is the first time I'm going to be, meet them in the game so far, this this time around, of course. All right, let's see here. I can't remember which one are they on are they in the slave shield I don't remember if they're in the slave shield or not but I'm gonna head there in just a second let me get some more resources I definitely need resources for sure plan is definitely not worth it so I need to get some resources anyhow so I can hopefully pump my ship up here I can actually do some real fighting all right so Beetlejuice 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 I can't see it. just in case up these probably one more flight down will do it Just by some off chance. See if they're if they're nearby here. Oh, it's a treasure world. If nothing else, this was this should be worth it. There we go. Glad I hit this one. Treasure worlds are pretty good. It's not as good as those purple. The purple dots are the ones we really want to pick up. Free money, free money. Alright, 
that. I think that's it, yep. Okay, so I think the Siren, are they in the Slave Shield? I can't remember. World. Let's see. By the name, you would think it was hard to land on, but pretty, pretty easy. Can't remember how. Ex Let's see, light blue, <laughs> light blue is nothing. Alright, so actually the gray ones are more worthwhile than these. And I'm full. Okay, so I don't have any more space to pick up anything anyhow. Like the siren are, yeah, that's right. I thought they weren't under a slave shield, but I forgot about their. They have a space station. Attention, unidentified space vessel. Be warned. This slave world and its inhabitants belong to the Urquan. I am Starbase Commander Talana of the slave of planet that. Gaia. Your ship is not responding to standard hierarchy identification sequences. You are therefore classed as independent. And what? Is my monitor display correct? Is that a human commanding that vessel? Who are you? Justify that costume. Ethics police. Hello, Captain. But you haven't answered my question fully. Why are you here? Where are you from? Has the slave shield been lifted from Earth? Are the Urquan finally defeated? Simply put, Captain, what do you want from us? Look, Captain, I like you. Even though you're an obnoxious human, I like you. She likes In me, I'm just time, an obnoxious human. You might have become that, that good actually friends. Tracks. Right, Perhaps right. more, but that's a fantasy, and my job is dealing with reality. We're not going to do anything to jeopardize what we've got here. We've come too far, lost too much, to ever risk losing Gaia, our new home. Don't get all judgmental on me, Captain. You don't know what we've been through. Yeah, so she'll, well, she'll go ahead and tell us what she's been through. When the Earth but in short, the Micon blew up their planet. Over 20 years ago, they don't know it. I was only a young girl living then in Habitat 31. Then they just kind of lost hope. My older sister Which Diani I mean, hey, was a starship officer in the home. space patrol. That's, she that's was part rough. of the final defense at Raynet. She didn't make it back. When the Urquan caught us in open this space, the, the we key, all thought we were going to the key die. People in the but then, instead fight, of humans, so I need to talk to her Urquan for a little bit. I won't let her actually choice. go through. We could join the ranks of their combat thrall, Everything. Or we could be slave shielded in our home world. Like the people of Earth, we chose peace. We became fallow slaves. When the Urquan told us to return to our home world, we explained that we had none. Urquan Master Nine explained that they had encountered this situation before, and if we would provide them with a list of our requirements, they would use their extensive astronomical data stores to find a planet for us. So we told them about Syra, about the color of its sky, about the abundant life forms, about the fertility of the soil and seas. Less than an hour later, Yes, we this received what a terse to their message from Master Nine. We were to proceed to these coordinates and disembark. This was to be our new home. But our new world, Gaia, was everything we described. We'd been searching for a home planet for 75 years, and in the end, it was our enemies who gave one to us. 
I grew up on a small island off the main continent. And like all of my people, we lived each day under the sick, red glow of the slave shield. When the Urquan arrived seven years ago to refurbish and recruit the Starbase, I was selected as the new commander. When we first met your people, we've been wandering through the stars for almost years. Their ship is kind of cool. Years, their their ship basically the gets Siren, up near our home other planet. ships and they can call the we crew. Joined your alliance, I mean, they're called Siren, and right? I use the word join they can call the crew off of the other ship. We had no other and choice. Basically, you'll the see these little green dots in the space. You can just leave them out there and they'll die. And we or you can go and pick them go. up and then your, your ship mains crew survival, over time. Captain. Nothing more. Their when main your weapon isn't defeated. really all that great, the but Alliance being able to pull crew off of the other ships The Yehat really and Shofixti retreated to their native stars and didn't want us to follow. The Ariru, those creepy little, <laughs> those weasels, creepy little weasels, just plain bugged out. Vanished leaving us alone with nowhere to go, smack in the path of the oncoming Urquan Armada. What were we supposed to do? Fight? Two-thirds yeah, of our habitat kind of left, fleet was unarmed. Out to dry. Many aren't even superluminal. We were going to be annihilated if we resisted, and we knew it. When the Urquan surrounded us and started giving orders that all ended with, <laughs> that or ended with die, or we took them at face value. We obeyed. In exchange, they gave us Gaia. The planet Urquan in world. their own way. It's a beautiful world, Captain. Their own way are I wish I could trying to you. be the good guys. So don't misunderstand me. We love our freedom as much as anybody else. But we've got a good life here. We and just we don't enslave all the it. people and Technically on a world where they are completely happy. And as long as you stay as a slave, you're fine, but you know. Alright, let's see. Like I said before, Captain, but we are unwilling. You're on your own. Our species are almost identical. Almost too close a match to be just a coincidence. Our bodies are very similar, Captain. <clears throat> Except for certain parts. Our cultural development is also mostly parallel. Like you Earthlings, we evolved a society from primitive tribes whose main function were to protect themselves from the large reptiles native to our old world. Yeah, basically world. this sounds like Earth. The main difference between our two sets of cultures, the split in the paths of our development, occurred in what would have been your prehistory, say 5000 BCE. In your world, the agricultural communities were conquered by the more primitive, but also more aggressive migratory herding peoples. This led to a particular kind of sexual and political dominance structure which pervaded almost all of your Earth cultures until the early 21st century. On Syra, our only primitive migratory tribes were confined to our mountainous regions. Their herd beasts, the Waimar, did not do well in the agricultural basins That's and basically plains. where the differences the between our cultures were. The two cultures were isolated until much later when the technological superiority of the farmers curtailed any major conflict. It was our paradise. They're Earth eaten. is the only world so Syra, Again, Syra, at least before be... Cyrus gravity Syra, was okay. a bit lighter. We spent Basically what I need to do is get her talking about Syra. Captain. But I, like your solar large meteor impacts, though rare, were not unheard of on our planet. So it was not a total shock when an asteroid penetrated our atmosphere and hit the surface. What was odd? was that unlike most other meteors, this one was not pulverized on impact. It penetrated the crust, and indeed went all the way through to the mantle, causing a supervolcano. The earthquakes caused by the impact were severe. The magma pumped out of the caldera wreaked significant damage on the nearby terrain, but within a few weeks it had cooled, forming a solid rock bandage over the wound. Within a few months, we had cleaned up the mess. 
The caldera was calming down nicely, and things were pretty much back to normal. Then, just over a year after the impact, all hell broke loose on the surface of Syra. Huge calderas were opening all over, not just around the meteor impact, but everywhere. The scope of the disaster is impossible to imagine. Entire cities sliding into oceans of molten mm. lava, kilometer-wide sections of land so, pulverized that was by all a cataclysmic explosion, and clouds of poison gas. Until then, Earthling. Now, what I don't know, since I went and got the egg fragments... Hello again, plus it warm until then. Do I did I pick them up? Maybe I didn't. Let's see. Cargo. No, not that. I've forgotten who tells me about them. All right, so for now, that's the siren. I'm going to head down to the oars and hit them up real quick and pick up the, the shield as well along the way. So that'll be on the next, that'll be the next stream. I'm gonna do a quick break, pause for the cause, and I'll be back here shortly. It's getting work, signing off. Later, fam.